Welcome to Watch Card's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is how not to handle a vulnerability report. Today's information security drama is something that actually comes from a post on Krebs on security, as well as the original researcher who posted his take on the site called The Medium. Long story short, this unnamed kind of remaining anonymous researcher found a vulnerability in Panera's website. You might have heard of Panera, they're a, a restaurant and retailer that makes bread goods and so on. And anyways, they had a flaw in their website that allowed an attacker to gain the user information from any user that has an account on this site. Information like their email, their address, some of their preferences at this particular site, the last four digits of their, their uh, credit card if it's on file, and a number of other personal information as well. Now, this good guy researcher was actually trying to find a way to report it to the company in a responsible manner. He tried to find the right contact, he tried to report the vulnerability, and really, at first, Panera didn't take him seriously. In fact, the first replies to some of his emails kind of accused him of being a scamster when all he is trying to do is responsible disclosure. Nonetheless, eventually he did get to someone who listened and said they'd look into it, but then eight months go by and the vulnerability's not fixed. And this particular researcher has his own data on Panera's site as well. In any case, the researcher, after waiting eight months, did go to Brian Krebs, who then actually disclosed this vulnerability to the whole world. And by the way, eight to nine months is probably long enough to wait if you're not getting any reply from the vendor. In any case, this is where the InfoSec drama comes in. In response to Krebs' post, Panera basically came back saying they take security seriously. And that's where this particular researcher and even Krebs himself got upset. If they really did take security seriously, the company would actually have interacted more with this particular researcher. They actually would have fixed the flaw, which up until then they still hadn't fixed. On top of that, even after kind of doing a stopgap measure for this flaw, after further research, Brian Krebs found a number of other places on the website which also leaked particular user information. So there were a lot of problems with Panera Bread's site. In any case, what the real vulnerability was, or even the fact that it took a long time for them to even get to it, it took actual press uh, pressure for them to fix this flaw, the bigger overarching story, and what the researcher wants to point out, is he suggests that this is the norm with vendors lately, not taking security researchers' disclosure seriously, and really not transparently and regularly interacting or communicating with the researcher to fix the flaw. If this is true, this absolutely has to stop. By the way, since the story, a number of other researchers have looked at Panera and found all kinds of other insecurity. For instance, open web admin panels, SSH servers, and FTP servers. While they may be patched and up to date, no one's really checked that yet or at least shared the results, uh, these open to the world servers could uh, suffer from things like brute force attacks. It really isn't good practice to have an internet wide open open web admin panel. You probably should restrict it in some way with a firewall policy. Anyways, the researcher's moral of the story is, if you're a vendor, you really should be more up to speed on reacting to this vulnerability disclosure. You need to communicate with the security researcher in a professional manner that is actually for free trying to help you improve your product and secure it. Now, I'm a vendor myself, and often I argue against the type of researcher that discloses vulnerabilities without giving a vendor time to fix it. This is not the case in this particular uh, incident. In this case, it took eight months and press public pressure for Panera to react at all, which is really bad. However, I also don't want researchers to go the other way. There are some researchers that will disclose immediately, arguing right away without trying, that vendors just don't keep up with this stuff. Vendors don't react to security. That was certainly the case 10 years ago. In fact, that used to be complaints against companies like Microsoft and Apple. But while the person that found this Panera flaw seems to suggest that the industry still acts in this old school way, I do want researchers to remember that many vendors out there actually 
actually are, are proactive about this sort of report and really want to communicate transparently and take care of flaws that researchers find. So it's not really an excuse for all researchers to not disclose vulnerabilities and give vendors time to fix. By the way, how much time do you give a vendor to fix a flaw? That is a big question. Is it 30 days? Is it 90 days? Is it nine months? I don't think there's a single answer to that. For say a big operating system that has kernel level flaws, sometimes the fix might be very complex. I think it comes into the judgment of the researcher and it really depends on how much the vendor is being transparent and how regularly they're giving updates. In any case, this is very interesting infosec drama and I think the main point this researcher made is often a corporation's response to any sort of vulnerability in the product is that they take security of their data seriously. And while I hope that most businesses really believe that, whether or not a business believes that has more to do with its actions than just the words themselves. But in this particular incident, this company seemed to share hollow words without reinforcing them with action. In any case, it's a very interesting story. I highly recommend you read both Krebs's post on this as well as the researcher's Medium post. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching. Oh, 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 oh,